Hi there, Chris here with another quick tip for you all. In this video, we are going to take a look at creating bloody wounds on a model. And so to serve as our example here, we'll have this uh, corn blood bound warrior. And of course, uh, this really kind of works on the models that have like flush areas as uh, the ones with the armor on them. It doesn't really quite convey quite as nicely. To get us started, we're going to use some corn red. This is going to be for the blood on the model, obviously. And basically what we're going to do here is we're going to create sort of a two-dimensional effect. We're not going to build up anything. This can be simply achieved by painting onto the model and creating basically a fresh cut into the model. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on um, with this color, thinned out just a little bit here, and begin with my detail brush and draw in just a simply a, um, a line about as thick as the bristles of your detail brush. It can be a little bit thinner if you like, that way you get a little bit more control, but I figured, you know, it kind of gets a little bit of a bloody mess kind of going on. And then of course, once I've done the line, I, I simply begin stippling very carefully, tiny little blood dots in here and there, just kind of representing a bit of a, of a splattering like effect. Next, I'm going to take Rhinox Hide. I'm going to take a little bit of this, thin it down, use my fine detail brush, and draw a fine line in the middle, or at least somewhere kind of off middle. Off middle is kind of fine too, because then if it's right in the middle, it kind of just has this kind of cartoony kind of vibe, but keeping it within the bounds of the red that we had previously established. And this is to represent like a basically a shadow in the wound. And of course, we could, we could come in with a highlight color and create like a little highlight just at the bottom portion of the cut giving us a more of a three-dimensional kind of effect but that's really quick uh get it done but here is another one we can add on top blood for the blood god this is the gw technical this is a fantastic little additive uh to use for blood effects and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this pretty much right on top of where we had laid the corn red now it's gonna give us an extra layer of of rich redness but also where you kind of deviate outside gives you also a little bit of a transition and because it dries glossy it's gonna stay and it's gonna look like fresh blood and so basically i'm just going over and what i had previously done and of course adding a couple more little little dabs of uh splattering effect as well but otherwise, you know, I'm just keeping within what I had previously done, but because we have that corn red underneath, it's giving us a nice rich red. And of course, when we have the corn red on top or the blood for the blood gone on there, it gives us another layer of depth. And it looks like a big fresh wound on his arm. And we still preserve that, that little shadow where we have that line where it looks like a fresh cut into his arm. But that is it. It's as easy as that. It's really not that difficult. It just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of practice. And of course, using that uh, blood for the blood god is a lot of fun. We have even more painting tutorials in our mini wargaming vault. Just click on the link and you can watch another video how I do a dark Eldar jet bike reaver helmet in an alternate fashion. And you can uh, view that one today. Of course, uh, you sign up for a free seven day trial. Make sure you get the silver membership and you get instant access to over a thousand painting tutorials already in the vault. And so thank you for watching and happy wargaming.